Hey all guys, welcome to another reaction video and today will be about Eurovision! Hey, it's coming up in May, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm not good with dates, that's why. Um, I don't know if, how many of you guys know, but I am very into Eurovision, but at the same time I'm not. <laughs> like I don't watch the whole thing, but I want Portugal to win. <laughs> I cried when we won for the first time ever, so yeah, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I just hope that whoever wins, it's a song that I really like. I don't know if anybody else is the same way, but I don't care if it's not Portugal, as long as they have a good song. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay. So today, because I love my country, and I'm worried because... There was a year which they bought the horriblest thing ever to Eurovision. So <laughs> uh, around 2011, I think. I keep on saying 2011, but I'm not sure if it is. But yeah, anyway, they were like protesting with those um, posters and whatnot. Embarrassing as F. <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah, so uh, because it's, it's going to be too long. If I, you know, listen to the whole thing of all of the songs that might present us, uh, represent us in the Eurovision, I will put the name down below. Don't know. Don't know how I'm going to edit this. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to write down who, who it is and what's the name of the song. And I'm going to translate it to English, the name, the title, the name of the song. Ah! <laughs> Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Let's start. So the first song is from Joan Campouche, Eu Kie. It is what it is. I'm impressed. I don't know this guy, by the way. I think he's new in the music industry. Or if he's not, then I'm sorry. can tell I can tell who wrote this song um, it's a, a band called Dema I think so out of 10 this song for Eurovision free what do you guys think is this a good song for Eurovision I don't personally think it's good for Eurovision, but I would l gladly listen to it um, in my daily daily life, but mm, not for Eurovision. I think Portuguese people, because we won with a very quiet and calm song, they think, oh, we have another chance to win with the same type of song. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we've always, in my opinion, we've we've had many beautiful songs in Eurovision, and none of them won until this one. Why? I mean, I'm not. I don't know anything about politics, but I'm sure they have something to do with this. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, honestly. But I don't really think Eurovision is quite fair. There's things that we don't know. <laughs> Next song is called Ella, Ella, Ella. Limão. <laughs> it, I don't know if that's actually her name, no offence. Ella means her and Limão li means a uh, lemon. But, <laughs> okay. Mais brilhante que mil sois. Again, mm, 
It's a bit weak. This one's weaker than the first one, in my opinion. It's different. But, yeah. It's very chill. Like someone said in the comments. <laughs> Next one is called... I don't know how to say it. Okay. <clears throat> Surma? Suma? I don't know. The song is called Pugna. I'm gonna have to re research what that means. <laughs> I can imagine the start of this. <laughs> like, it looks like... Uh, it sounds like a play. Sounds a bit scary. <laughs> shivers <laughs> I thought this was gonna start like that but it was gonna change to a bit more upbeat but it doesn't seem that doesn't seem like it's gonna happen expecting it to be a bit creepy at the start but then get upbeat like I said it didn't happen so I think people are just gonna be disappointed when they see it I don't know maybe it's just me but I was expecting it to like get change and stuff that was a bit I, I wonder how that would that would be <laughs> it's true someone said if it wasn't for the for the lyrics on the video we wouldn't understand what she's saying I could hardly hear I could hear her but like I, I can't understand what she's saying <laughs> it's really art artistic it's very unique and creative but not for your vision honestly the fourth the fourth song is from NBC and it's called equality the same as you I don't know any of these people it's, it's good because that means there's going to be more singers in the Portuguese industry. Sounds a bit country, a little bit. Okay, this is the first song that I kind of find potential in Eurovision. Like, it kind of suits the whole thing. Yeah. It's still not convincing for me enough, but it's it's much more... There's much more chances than the others, in my opinion. Not my favourite, but... Fifth song is from Conan... Conan Ozirish? Telemovish. Telephone. I was not expecting this! <laughs> he looks so tough and he's saying Portuguese Fado. Fado. The st you know how he started the, the song was I broke my phone. <laughs> I don't know why I found that funny. <laughs> Okay. 
Still early. <laughs> oh my gosh! This is actually kind of funny. Like, the whole song is about breaking telephones. <laughs> oh gosh, that's so cool! Because, like, it's like... It's fado, it's traditional music, but then it's like modernized, if that makes sense. It's like so cool because you see this guy and I expect him, I was expecting him to rap or something because he looks so like tough or like do some R&B, I don't know, but like <laughs> he started singing fado and then it's just about tele breaking tele. I really want to see how this, I really want to see how this is going to look like. This, I think this has a lot of potential for Eurovision. It's going to show a different side to Portugal for um, outsiders. The other song is uh, is from Madre Pash and it's called Mundo a Mudar. This song is very nice and calm, but you know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> it's not for Eurovision. I feel like they they're going it too chill. Like people might get bored easily these days, like because of all the other action they're gonna have. But then again, also, I think the reason why we won with with such a calm song was because everybody needed a break from all the hype of so much dancing and so much like things going on. So we could have a chance at another calm song, but I don't know, I don't know. I really don't know. This person is called Soraya Tavash. <laughs> Sorry. La, la, la. I wonder if she's a uh, Sara Tavash sister, sister. I don't know, maybe not. Okay, her song is called O Meu Sonho, My Dream. I really like this song. I actually think they, we could have a chance with this, actually. I mean, at least it will also show another sh side of us. Like, these songs are really good this year. Like, I'm, I, I don't hate any of them. <laughs> Just for now. <laughs> I shouldn't speak too soon. But yeah, I, I have a little, a little, my heart has all of them. Like, but yeah, like, I have a little love for all of them weird damn they're doing great i'm proud <laughs> i hope my camera doesn't turn off again i watched about three songs already <laughs> and it wasn't filming okay let me do it again <laughs> next song is from mariana bragada it's called mardos sweet sea do not die on me i will kill you
This is my favorite bit. I really like this song. It's really cool. Next from is from this is the only artist so far that I have ever listened to um, before. His his name is Matai and the song is called Perfeito, which means perfect. Like I said when it wasn't filming, it sounds like Doesn't it sound like a Disney uh, song? Like it reminds me of um, Beauty and the Beast. It sounds like a Disney Disney song film. It's really nice. Really like it. It's calm. The next song is from Anna Claudia and it's called Inercia. I have no idea what that is, but I think it's someone's name. After listening to it, I think it's someone's name. Listen to it. <coughs> I love this bit. It's very, very different. All of them. Uh, damn. So proud. <laughs> the next song is also from an artist that I, re I really love their songs. Uh, they're called Kalima. I think they're brothers. And they're awesome. This song is called Adoi. Adoish. Adois. <laughs> How do you translate that? Two is better than one, kind of. Kind of meaning, a Deutsch. living. Oh, never mind. Oh my gosh, you guys have to listen to it by yourselves because <laughs> otherwise I'll be here the whole time. Okay, it's from Lara Lakish. I also don't know who she is. So, discovering new people, new talents is always nice. Uh, her song is called Uluga. It sounds like it went a bit back in time. But it also has modern... I don't know how to explain this. It's cool. Well, I'm not really a fan of this song because I don't like the vocals much it just sounds like she's talking like there's nothing special uh, I don't want to offend anybody but yeah it's nice it's cool I, f I can imagine it being s being heard in a bar you know the next song is by Dan Riverman is he foreign? Um, his song is called Lava. Lava. 
lava? Does it mean lava like clean or lava like lava? <laughs> it has this uh, this word has two meanings, <laughs> but I'm sure he's talking about lava and not clean. Okay, he's not foreign. <laughs> Thank God. I'm so happy that they all decided to sing a Portuguese song. Well, for now, actually, there's still some songs left, so. Okay, so I feel like this song was a bit for soap operas and not really for Eurovision <laughs> but yeah it was alright not really my style okay next one is from Mila Dorsch it's called Debaixo do Luar so underneath the moon this song's pretty chill um but I don't know, it's not what I would listen to. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Mm -mm. The last song is from Philippe Kiel. Kiel? I don't know. And the song is called Oige. It means today. It's really cool. Just, I don't know, it's a bit not Eurovision. <laughs> okay, so uh, Festival de Canção, which which is called Festival of the Song, which is basically the contest contest that um, takes place in Portugal to choose which song will go to Eurovision. Well take place the final will take place in March the 2nd so that's when we'll find out um, that's when we'll find out what song will be presenting us <laughs> I can't wait to find out okay so let me know which ones were your favorites um, I'll put all the links of the songs below so you guys get to listen to them yourselves and tell me your opinion, which one do you think should go to Eurovision, which one you loved the most, which one you didn't like, which one you liked but you don't think should go to Eurovision, and yeah, everything that you guys want to share with me, feel free on the comments down below. Please likey likey, comment, recommend, and subscribe! See ya!